it's called uh, Sao Miguel. <laughs> and uh, we're at the front of the village right now. Um, all these people are waiting to see medical treatment on the boat. Uh, I don't know if this is the uttermost ends of the earth, but it certainly seems close to it when you see get out here and see the jungle and all the people here. The other thing is this is very unique. This is the type of trip that if we don't come, there's actually people uh, that, that might not get help here. Well, there's a number of reasons why you would come to a place like this. I think, first of all, you're going to a place that, this is kind of like the road uh, not often taken. This is the, a remote area, and it's not a place that you're going to see everybody coming to, but the needs are absolutely enormous. There, there are no roads here at all. We have, we've not seen any cars. Occasionally, you'll see a motorcycle, but there are no roads out to, to get here. The only way to get here is by boat. We're here with the Brazilian Bible Society. They have a ministry with their boats where they're able to bring medical, dental, and all kinds of help to a community for these people who live in a very long and a difficult way for them to get access to the help they need. And so when you look at all the things that a boat like this is able to bring, the message of the gospel, the physical help to people that only get it once every year or so, you, you realize that you're bringing something very, very unique that if you don't do it, nobody else will do it. Yeah, so right now, as you look at the boat that's on here, these people started lining up at uh, 5 o'clock this morning, and this has been the same way for the last three days. And they progressively get more and more and more. Uh, we were seeing people till 8.30 last night. And so they seek to use the, the medical attention in order, to, in order to offer the opportunity to share the Word of God and to leave a very positive impact on the community. The care that we are able to do uh, is for people that they can't see a doctor. They don't have a hospital, they don't have, uh, they don't have this, this people here, uh, so it's very important for them to have this, uh, this clinical. Most of them, they had worms, and this is uh, the most important problem here. So uh, we could give them uh, the best treatment. So I think that it was so good. And also, everybody that receives help on the boat, as they'll go through before they leave, they, they're given a Bible portion or a, a complete Bible. And the people are very open and receptive as you come to visit them. You can talk to anyone about anything. Well, all the kids are always asking for Bibles, and that the, that's encouraging to know that they're desiring to, you know, learn about God and read and, you know, grow in their personal relationships with God. Um, people are getting medicine, and they're getting. Um, just the kind of help that they never do get and uh, it's really amazing to see how touched they are by it. People saying, wow, it's amazing that people would come here from the United States just to help us. Like, and um, giving Bibles, people are just dying for Bibles. I, people actually ask me to write dedications in their Bibles, which is crazy because I'm no one important. But it's really cool to be able to write an encouraging message telling them to trust God and um, just always stay faithful to Him in their Bibles. I was talking with two patients uh, and in that moment of that conversation one of, the, one of them uh, was a couple, uh, one of them they told, he told me, oh, I'm far from God. And I told him, oh, I think I want to talk about the love of God for you. And in, in minutes, uh, five minutes, I could explain for him the love of God and and I think that when we are doctor, it makes it easier because uh, he trusts in, trust in me. So it was amazing because after this, I prayed with him and he, he gave his life to God. So it was amazing for me. So they're an open people. You can easily share the word of God. Um, and it's a, it's a place where you can, you can, because you can easily converse with people, it's easy to talk to them. And there is a lot of people that just have not yet made that simple connection, what it really means to be born again. 
we can come to communities like this and you are able to talk with anybody anywhere in a place like this about the Lord. It's very natural. They'll invite you into their home. They'll want to offer you a cup of coffee. You have a great open door to come to Brazil. Right here. That's a present from the girls. So a lot's really happening on the boat right now. You can see there's a lot of people. So when they get up there, uh, they're getting their height and weight taken. We've got people from Vista taking blood pressures. They're doing uh, glucose tests, uh, blood sugar tests. Uh, they, they circle back down there and they get down to the uh, doctors. Some people are seeing dentists. Some people are seeing the doctors. Some people are getting eyeglasses. We're here with the Brazilian Bible Society. They are distributing Bibles. But as you know, if you get a Bible and you can't read the Bible, it's not, it's not helpful. So we brought many, many pairs of glasses and our people are helping to fit the, the people that live here with eyeglasses. Some are reading for the first time in years. They're, they're able to actually read the Bible. Once they confirm they can read it, we give them a Bible and they take that with them. So that's been a big blessing to see that. And I think this trip has really just opened my heart, softened it to be more caring for people, be more compassionate for people and just love on them and know that that loving on people can make that real big difference. It's so rewarding spiritually and even personally to be able to help people who can't help themselves. In the mornings, we've been doing vacation Bible school. So that's already started, and that's the, that's the music that you hear right now. Nine o'clock, uh, we've been bringing kids in. There were several hundred here yesterday. The crowd is getting larger and larger as we move through the week. And they will come. I have, I'm walking along, kids come up, and hug, come up and hug me on the waist. And they're like, stay here, stay here, sit with me. Can I sit, sit on your lap? And it's something, it's something, it's a totally new experience for, for people who've never done these missionary journeys that, that these kids will come up. It doesn't matter if you, ha if you don't speak a word of Portuguese. They, they will come up and they love hearing English. So you're okay, they won't look at you strangely. Here these kids are, they're like, whoa, what is she saying? This is Sandra, she's uh, my friend. <laughs> and um, she, she's been one of the ones that has just kind of hung on me uh, throughout the week. Uh, right away, I introduced myself to her and um, just gave her lots of hugs and, uh, and kisses. And, and she's really shy, so she doesn't want to look at the camera. So the impact on the children is, is terrific. The assistance to the pastor and the church here has been really magnificent. They have been so appreciative of us bringing a team. Even at night, we've been running services. And so they told us uh, the very first night that while there's Brazilian pastors with us here and they could preach, they want to hear from the Americans. So we've been having the, our, our people, our Vista people have been doing messages at night, translation into Portuguese, and that's just been, uh, that's just been great to see. Uh, the other great thing is uh, sports ministries here. Kids love to play soccer. We brought soccer balls. They will unite around things like that. We're able to bring the sports into what we're doing, create relationship and opportunities for follow-up. been the most incredible opportunity to be here and make these friendships with all these little kids and, um, and it's also been an amazing experience because I've gone on mission trips before but this mission trip has been I guess more um, solely focused on God. On the last night of our trip we were having a final service with the church uh, where we have been working and the pastors said that uh, as pastors, they constantly pray for people to come help them because they view themselves almost as the forgotten people of Brazil that nobody worries about. And when a boat like the one we're on shows up with workers, they view this as God answering their prayers. And it was very gratifying for us to hear that. It really is about the people and trying to bring as many people to the kingdom of God as possible. And if you can do something every day that helps you know, bring someone to eternity, you know, it's important, and so trips like this remind me to, to take that um, attitude home with me. Um, to yes, like to continue to serve here, but to just to serve wherever you go. 